This is the Ultimia Poseidon D80, a 7.1 wireless system with one soundbar, one subwoofer and four satellites. With a total power of 460 watts, Dolby Atmos, control via remote or mobile app and a range of audio connections which includes HDMI in and HDMI out which is just awesome. So if you are looking for a wireless system 7.1 with Dolby Atmos with a powerful volume, a great audio quality, stay tuned to this video. But if you want to move forward, I will leave some chapters right over here so that you can go to the chapter that is more interesting to you. It has the main soundbar, which we will connect the two satellites on the front end of our setup, just near our TV or our projector. And these are the only cables that we will use. And then on the back of our setup of our living room, we will place in the subwoofer, which will not require any cables to the sound bar so it will connect via wireless to the sound bar and then we just need to connect these two satellites to the subwoofer which means that we can place it at the rear end of our living room and we will have no wires at all connecting the subwoofer to the sound bar I placed the main soundbar and both front satellites just below the TV on the TV stand, but if we don't to occupy a space, we can put them on the wall. Each of the satellites along with the main soundbar has this one quarter inch screw and the necessary screws and accessories so that we can place them on the wall. If you already have experienced Dolby Atmos, then you know the feeling when you hear the sound, but if you haven't, it basically will create something similar to the surround sound and I would say that the surround sound is cool but it's a poor attempt of the true Dolby Atmos. I will leave some samples towards the end of the video but one of the limitations that I do have is that the sound that I hear is a lot more richer, a lot more louder without any distortion and when we record with any kind of microphone it will be compressed by the camera, compressed by YouTube, it will be listened to in a phone, in a laptop or even in a good pair of headsets but it's never the same sensation that we get with this. So the only thing that I can share to that side is a bit of the volume comparison and also a bit of the environment that we get and the different sounds that we get from different directions. And although we have tested some systems with Albi Atmos in terms of power, it is actually for my personal usage a lot more than I need. So I would suggest if you have a bigger living room than the one that I'm using right over there on my cinema setup, this will be the ideal. We can connect it in several ways, including HDMI with eARC, optical, auxiliary, Bluetooth 5.3 and even a USB connection, which I believe that 90% of people don't use this anymore, but it's here just in case you want to check that out. Now, my favorite connections are not any of these that I just mentioned. It's the one that says HDMI in and HDMI out, because we have seen here on the channel a lot of accessories, well, not a lot, but a few accessories to solve an issue when people don't have a TV with arc or e-arc, which is common if we have a TV with 10 years old and the TV is still great. But right over here, even if that's your case, you don't need any other accessory. We just need to connect our Apple TV or our Android TV box or any media player that we have to the HDMI in and then with the HDMI out, it will go directly to our TV. Now, new with the Poseidon D80 is the 
app that we can use to control the sound system. You can adjust the volume, you can turn it on and off, we can switch between 121 different equalizer presets, which I think that is a bit excessive, but they are there. And we can switch the input source as well as some options like the firmware update. Usually the remote control, we press the button and then we will need to wait for the volume to go gradually. With the app, what I do feel is that it is instantaneous and I was not expecting that actually I was a bit concerned that the app could introduce some kinds of delay and it didn't but besides the app we can also use this remote control which is really complete as you can see with a lot of options and we can also use these shortcut buttons right over here on the sound bar but I would say that only when we are near and for example if I want to connect directly the Bluetooth or want to change the input source basically that will be it otherwise you will be on the couch using either your remote or the app. And regarding the app, I'm sure that the newest models from Ultimia will have this, which is awesome. But I'm curious to know if the older systems that we have reviewed here will also have the app available or not. But that is something that we will check out later on. The Poseidon D80 is one of the best sound systems that Ultimia has at this moment. And if we talk about a wireless system with Dolby Atmos, this is actually the best that they have. Now, if you feel that this is too much power for you there's also the d70 and the d60 i will leave some links down below actually we did test out the d60 which also has dolby atmos the d70 doesn't have dolby atmos as surround sound which is not bad at all but not the same as Dolby Atmos. That being said, some links down below so that you can check out all the specifications, prices and availability. Hope that this video was helpful and if it was, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you on the next one. of our mobile phone. We will find this really elegant and well-built SSD from iFro. I will leave the link down below for the P10, which is this model right over here.